Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to explain what to do when your iPad is not connecting to Wi-Fi. If it's not connecting to Wi-Fi, the first thing you should do is just turn it off and turn it back on again. Yep. Easiest way to do that is just to hold down the power button yep. until slide to power off appears in the screen, slide across the screen with your finger. You'll have to wait about 20 seconds for it to shut all the way off, then press and hold the power button until the Apple logo appears in the screen and then let go. So, good summary there. Yep. If that doesn't work, let's just turn Wi-Fi off and back on again. Great, so I'm gonna open the settings app. I'm gonna tap on Wi-Fi, tap that little green switch. Mm -hmm. Wi-Fi is now off, wait a few seconds, tap it, turn it on again. Right, and we don't really know at this point if it is your iPad that's broken or if it's uh, the Wi-Fi network itself that isn't working correctly. So I would recommend going to McDonald's, or the library, or wherever, they have Wi-Fi, and trying a different Wi-Fi network. Yep. So if there's a problem with the Wi-Fi network itself, it could be that you just need to unplug your router at home and plug it back in again. And there's no way that we can go through how to do full restores on every router in the world because yeah. it would take us 48 hours. But just to unplug your router, plug it back in again at home, that might also fix this problem. Great. So you did all that, mm -hmm. still not working. The next thing to do is forget the Wi-Fi network on your iPad and sign up again like it was new. Yep. So to do that, just tap on the little blue eye next to your Wi-Fi network, then tap forget this network. Oh dear. Forget. forget. Yeah, especially sometimes if you know you change your Wi-Fi password or something like that, something changes the way your, wi your iPad connects to your Wi-Fi network. If something changes there, mm -hmm. um, this can fix that kind of problem. Absolutely. So then you just tap it again, reconnect, enter the password. I could probably just give that to you right now. Can't oh, okay. Share password with David Lynch, you could do that. There you go. How to share Wi-Fi password, check out that article yeah. in the description. Yeah. All right. So if yep. that step didn't work, the next thing to do is reset network settings. This will reset your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, VPN, and cellular settings back to factory defaults. Right, so it's kind of a pain because you have to know all of your Wi-Fi passwords, but it's easier than the next step, yeah. which is to DFU restore your iPad. Yeah, so reset network settings, tab mm -hmm. general. Scroll down here to reset and then tap Reset Network Settings, enter your passcode, it'll say Reset Network Settings again. iPad will turn off, turn back on. Try to connect to Wi-Fi. Try to connect to Wi-Fi. Last ditch effort, DFU Restore. So a DFU, uh, Restore DFU stands for Device Firmware Update. It's the deepest type of restore that you can do on an iPad, and it fixes all sorts of problems. Mm -hmm. I gave my dad an iPad for Christmas, and we set it all up, it worked perfectly, then three days later, I went over to my parents' house and there he is using his old iPad. <laughs> and I was like, Dad, what the are you doing? And he was like, it doesn't work. So I was like, of course, sure it doesn't work. So I go over and I look at it, I was all snotty and then it didn't work. And it would just disconnect from Wi-Fi and I saw that there were a bunch of problems with it. Anyway, DFU restored it, was sure it was gonna fix it. Came back three days later, the iPad doesn't work, you know? So what we had to do is actually get a new iPad from Amazon, which was a process. But, so yeah. to DFU you restore your iPad, we have a card above, link below to our iPad DFU walkthrough video. As you said, if that doesn't work, it's okay. broken. Yep, it's broken, you gotta replace it or repair it. Yep. So if you just got your iPad like it was a Christmas present, you might still be in the replacement yep. return policy, just get a new one. Yep. If not, bring it to the Apple store if it's not damaged. If it is damaged, repairing a Wi-Fi antenna issue is very expensive through mm -hmm. Apple. They'll have to swap it out and just give you a new one. So you don't have to pay full retail price, but it might be worth going to a third party, smaller repair shop to see how much they would charge you to do it, because it could be much less. Yeah, we'll link to some of those in the description section below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also if there's a problem with your router specifically, and it's not like a minor issue, just Google you know, your router company's name, customer support, and yep. that's the way to do it. Or you, yeah. Sorry. If they find their phone number, give them a call. Yeah, you might have to reset your router completely and start and set that up from scratch. And usually there's a little pinhole on the back that says reset. You just hold a pin in there for like 10 seconds or so, all the things will start to blink. And I don't want to get too specific, but that could also work. Yep. So that's what you're doing. Your iPad is not connecting to Wi Fi. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPad videos.